Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. A SWAT standoff lasting for hours in Opelika. Officers surrounded a home near Northwest 27th Avenue and 135th Street. That's where a person was allegedly barricaded inside. Police say they were responding to the home after a call about a possible set of shots being fired near a supermarket on Opelika Boulevard. SWAT officers eventually left the home. No arrests have been announced. Students at Monarch High School walking out of class in protest after a staff shakeup over a transgender student athlete. Five staff members were reassigned, including the school's principal and athletic director. The investigation focusing on why a transgender student was allowed to play on the girls varsity volleyball team at the school. Florida law prohibits transgender students from playing on female teams. In a story you saw exclusively first on 10, a Miami Beach business hit by hate for a second time. A woman caught on camera tearing down an Israeli and American flag at Bagel Time Cafe. She then takes the flag into the middle of Alton Road and stomps on them. It comes after another person vandalized a pro-Israel banner outside the shop back in October. Both incidents remain under investigation. The close call after covered walkway suddenly collapsed at a Coconut Creek school. That structure came crashing down at a construction site on the Atlantic Technical College campus. Broward County school officials say there was an excessive amount of debris and construction material on the roof. That's what caused it to collapse. No one was hurt. Crews are now working to clean up the mess. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com throughout the day for more local news coverage and updates.